Good afternoon YouTube, Xfile2708 uh, back again with another gameplay video. Um, as you can see guys, this is another in my uh, series of uh, Minecraft playthroughs. Um, it's been a while since I've uh, done a Minecraft video, probably just before Christmas was the last one that I did. Um, but uh, figured I've got the house to myself this afternoon, so uh, figured I'd, uh, I'd carry on, show you whereabouts I've got to, and uh, we'll take it from there guys. So. We'll, uh, we'll get into the game. So what I've uh, done since the, um, the last video, uh, I've done some further exploring in that, uh, that really large cave where, uh, where we found the, uh, the mob spawner, etc. So I've been uh, digging further into that cave, managed to come across some, um, some diamond, etc. So if you look at my uh, inventory now, you can see I've got a diamond pickaxe. Uh, all of the buckets there, uh, one with lava in, is because I've been making some um, obsidian, which is basically the material that you make from mixing uh, lava and water together. Um, and basically the blocks that come from that are called obsidian, um, and you need several of those blocks to, uh, to make a, a portal to uh, teleport you to the nether. So uh, yesterday I built the portal, uh, I've deliberately not travelled through it because I wanted to share that uh, that experience with you guys. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all, guys, is I'm going to stock up on my food levels. Um, we'll go back into the cave that um, that I explored uh, in depth yesterday, just to uh, have a look around, see if I can find some more uh, iron ore and some more diamond because I did see. Um, deeper into the cave that there was some diamond there so we'll go and grab that and then towards the end of the video guys we'll, uh, we'll head across show you the portal that I've made um, and uh, we'll travel through the portal and, uh, and show you the nether which is uh, basically Minecraft's version of hell if you like so uh, we'll, uh, we'll do that towards the end but for now guys let's uh, just double check the um, food that I've got so got none on me at the moment so what we'll do is we'll grab some uh, pork chops in fact we'll, we'll do them all well we won't cook them all but we'll take them all for now the uh, the fish as well so while it's still night time outside we'll uh, go to my furnace and use some coal to cook some pork chops so as you can see just place uh, coal at the bottom and then whatever food you want to cook at the top and it'll uh, it'll cook through so there you go guys, there's one cooked pork chop. So it's always best to take several items of food if you're going on a bit of a, um, you know, exploration, etc. Because, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's a fair journey within Minecraft to get to the cave where we're going to. Uh, so the last thing we want to do is be short of food and have to risk coming back uh, to this main uh, building of a night time when there's monsters, etc out and about to uh, to stock up on food so I'll, I'll cook half a dozen of these and uh, you know that should set me up really for uh, for a few journeys as and when I need them so we'll do one more there we go so let's take that out and we'll cook a couple of fish as well so variety is the spice of life So you'll see down here as well, guys, just while that's cooking, uh, a flint and steel. Uh, that's basically what uh, what I made yesterday, which is uh, what you need to uh, ignite the, um, or switch on the portal, however you want to call it. So there we go, there's the uh, two fish. So we've got some coal left, so we might as well cook that extra piece of fish. We might even have enough to do one pork chop as well. There we go, probably got enough for one more. And then we'll, uh, we'll double check, I think you can see just over through the window there that it is starting to come, uh, come daylight again. There we 
we go, that'll do for now. Right, so let's uh, put some of these into my treasure chest for uh, for using later on. So there you go, we'll take four with us and a fish and we'll leave those ones there and again we'll pop these ones back for using at a later date. Okay, let's have a look outside. So let's get in there. And yeah, you see a spider there jumping up, so I take it there's been an update to the game at some point because I always remember the spiders being black and uh, they're now white, unless that's just the uh, the texture pack and I've not noticed them since, um, since I've applied the new texture pack. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so uh, we should be safe to go outside in a minute. If you see just there, guys, to the very left of the um, the Mario statue, there's like a grey platform there. Uh, that over there is where I've built my portal to the nether. So I've tried to keep all of my area together so I don't have to wander too far, um, you know, between the world to uh, to get to the various places that I want to go to. Right, let's take a venture outside, guys. Well, uh, as I say, we'll go and uh, have a look in that cave. Let's see if we can. Oh, there you go, there's a spider there. So let's get the old. There we go. So I'm just wondering if there's going to be a uh, creeper out here. So I can hear another creeper of some kind. Oh, that's the dog. Here we go. There's a creeper coming, guys. So let's uh, clear a bit of space in case he uh, blows up on us. Come on, then. Oh, there you go. He took the dog with him. Oh, you bugger. <laughs> right. Collect these blocks. Right. And what I'm also going to do, guys, is I'm going to take some sand with me. Um because I've had an idea for for something within the uh, the cave systems. So let's just uh, grab some of this. Right, let's tell the dog to sit because he's getting on my wick. Right, how many of those have we got? 21, let's grab a few more. Right, see how many we're up to now. So 44, let's grab a few more. So you can hold 64 of each item in one uh, wood inventory block. So let's have a look, 59, so five more. There we go, that should see us 64. There we go, let's chuck that flesh away, because flesh is poisonous, so you can't uh, can't eat it, and I've not found another use for it as yet. So what we'll do now, guys, we'll, uh, we'll head over to the um, the cave. So this is the, uh, as I say, the big cave that, uh, that we were exploring on the last couple of episodes. So also over there, guys, you can see another one of those totem poles that I've created. So there's a cave system over there that I need to explore another day. Right, let's get over there. Some bones over here as well, guys. So we'll pick those up. There we go. Right, and I think it's through this way.
and then it's through here. And then it should just be the other side of here and round to the left. So you'll uh, you'll see from my map, guys, that um, I've explored quite a bit of this area on the right-hand side of the map now. So my spawning point is in the middle of the map to the left-hand side. So I'm uh, trying to explore as much uh, of the map as possible to uh, open it up. So the, the idea that I've had, guys, basically is uh, I've heard people mention a few times about placing torches um, so you can um, so you can see routes back to, uh, to where you need to go. Um, however, if you've seen my previous Minecraft videos, you'll know that I'm the sort of person that just places torches willy-nilly to uh, light up the room as quickly as possible, or, well, to light up an area. Um, so for me that's not really um, you know the, the ideal way of, uh, of me doing it so what I'm looking to do is uh, to knock a, a piece of um, cobblestone out of a wall and place sand blocks um, within the base of the wall so it shows me the route that I need to take um, that may or may not make sense to you guys but if I show you here we go, this is the entrance to uh, to the big cave I've been exploring. So let's uh, pop some more cobblestone there to stop monsters coming through. Right, and what I thought I'd do is basically to, to place a, a sand block along the uh, the route so you know some you know something like that sort of sticks out to me amongst all of the cobblestone so I thought what I'll do is I'll place these along the route um, and then if I see those then I know I'm going in the right direction so again we'll place another one here and another one up here and basically you know just place them along the route so I know exactly that uh, that I'm heading in the right direction because there's so many little caves and that that I've um, I've made as I've been going through here sometimes it is quite um, easy to get lost within the uh, within the caves themselves so let's carry on placing these right and then basically guys this is that there's three or four different routes you can take here there's a route to the right which I need to explore a bit further there's an area there to the left um, and what I've done is I've created uh, a crafting bench um, and a treasure chest there so basically uh, I can place all of the items once I go exploring down the mines um, so I don't get uh, you know if I do fall into lava I'm not going to lose all of my items so I'm just going to move everything into well not everything but pretty much everything that's non-essential um, into this this uh, treasure chest um, and then like I say if we fall into lava I can just literally come back to this treasure chest um, and I've not lost everything so especially when you know well I will be taking the diamond pickaxe so let's uh, move the spare items through um, I'll take a bow and arrow sometimes that's uh, that's useful to get uh, creepers from a distance um, sand I'm gonna take for planning my route I'll take the cobblestone flint and steel I don't need the map I don't need uh, I'll take half my food with me just in case fishing rod I don't need and we'll take the torches as well so there we go that's all of the non-essential items put uh, into this treasure chest right so basically what we're going to do guys this is the the way that we came so if you look up there again I can see it at a glance as a sand block so I know that's the way to the exit so what I'm going to do guys this is the the area that I've been exploring the last few days so I've dug some like spiral stairs 
down to the bottom um, and I'll show you the uh, the area that uh, that I've been exploring so very um, what's the word uh, cobbled together if you like uh, but it does the job it gets me down to the bottom without uh, too much hassle um, at some point I may put a, a ladder down there uh, to get down there quicker but for now this will do the job there we go there's lots of monsters and that to find down here as you can hear the noises as you you're going along right so again what we'll do we'll hollow that one out and put a sand block in because that's the way back up to the the exit um, right and from here I think we go down again okay so there's some redstone there so I've managed to find quite a bit of redstone lately so there's some redstone there and stuff to explore down there as well right I think this was a this is possibly a dead end I will at some point go through this gravel and see if there's anything there um, but again for now let's because that's the route back up to the surface so again we'll put a block there so we know that's the way to go um, and I think we come down here yep so this is where it was uh, so again that's some gold up there I didn't notice let's uh, oh and that's a good idea not you can't play sand right so what I should There we go, and place sand on there, and I can still get through there, which is good. Right, so, let's uh, grab that bit of, uh, of gold. Oh, there you go, a few chunks of gold there, guys. Go. That's a nice, uh, nice little, little haul of six gold. Right, so we'll drop down here. Right, and this is the area that I've been exploring. Um, bloody monsters galore have been coming through. So that wall straight in front, I've blocked up because again, that's an area where monsters were coming through. Um, so I've blocked that up, and again, that's something for exploring another day. Uh, as you can see here, guys, this is the uh, the obsidian that uh, yeah I could have mixed um, lava and water together. So that's turned a lot of it to obsidian, but there's still lava underneath. But uh, I managed to grab all of the obsidian blocks that I needed uh, to make the portal yesterday. So that's just the obsidian there. And then down this route, guys, um, let's... Again, we'll put a, a block there so I can see it at a glance which way I need to go for the exit. Right, and this is where I was getting a lot of my lava from yesterday. Um, there's uh, some iron ore by the look of it over there. Oh, and it's just starting to, uh, to lag a bit, guys. So, uh, bear with me one second. Let me just uh, sort the lag out, guys, and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. Hopefully, that's uh, that's resolved the uh, the lag problems. I've uh, come out and uh, closed a few applications. So, there's an area to explore down there. Uh, and again, if you look just in the distance, there you can see some iron ore. Uh, but I think through here was where I saw some. There you go, guys. Straight in front there, there's some diamond and again some iron ore. So what I'm going to try to do is um, place some. Uh, cobblestone into the lava and hopefully make a path across that's the theory uh, I don't know how many
many blocks we're going to be looking at, but I'd prefer... Well, it's not going to... So, it's obviously if there's nothing... Um, if there's only one layer below that uh, that you can place the... In fact, it's lagging again, guys. So, right, back in a minute. Okay, guys, we'll give it one more try for today. Um, if not, then uh, we'll carry on the episode um, another day. Um, what I've done so far is I've started to make a, a path here, but what I'm having to do is just creep to the edge and place a block um, because it's not looking um, possible to... Um, to just randomly place a block in front of you um, and it looks as though it is lagging again guys so I do apologize for this but uh, what I'll do is I'll end today's episode um, see if I can suss out what the problem is um, I've, I don't normally get lag uh, when I'm recording these episodes so I'm not too sure what uh, what the problem is because there's certainly enough space uh, hard drive space and memory on this desktop PC to uh, to record these episodes without um, the lag that uh, that you're seeing. So we'll uh, we'll leave it there for now, guys. Uh, like I say, apologies for having to uh, to cut the episode short, but uh, we'll definitely be back again uh, shortly to uh, to continue the playthrough. So as always, guys, many thanks for watching, and I'll put up another video shortly. Bye for now.